Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Woolly Mike. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for, for Advantage. Advantage. Well, the Tanks and Miniatures game, mate. Eh? Yeah. I love this, love this great little game. You know, we've done some content. Wave 11 is what these guys are. Yep. This is good. We knew there was a roadmap that said wave, up to Wave 5. And they talked about the fact, they showed us what we get up to Wave 5. We knew that there was up to Wave 10. We did not know that there was anything beyond Wave 10. I haven't heard, like, how far it's going, seen any kind of roadmap. But they are still going. There's still more to come. We've also been getting the platoon packs now, and there's another one of those coming out we'll have a look at. But this is Wave 11, and what's good about these later waves is we're starting to see they're not just necessarily newer kits from War, uh, Flames of War Battlefront, but they're also very late war or very big, big tanks. So we've got one of each here. This is Wave 11. Uh, do you want to go first? Pick one up, and let's oh, have a look. The Achilles. The Achilles. So this is the M10 tank destroyer yep. in British service that's been upgunned with the 17 pounder. And Mike's not done this before. I'm gonna put your finger in the middle of these. Okay. <laughs> get, and then you can get some leverage to prize open because they're stapled at the top. I say a bonus for those of you at home who didn't know yeah. that. My favorite is when you buy a pair of scissors and they come in a pack like this. That's yeah. sealed up. Like, How do I get in? I bought the scissors to get into another pack. So it's got the same hull as the M10, M10 yeah. which is the, the, the M4 Sherman base. Similar turret, but it's a 17 pounder gun. Yeah. And all this gubbins on the back is actually just counterweight. Uh, so let's have a look at the cards then. If you do you get the unit card, you get these in the four languages, English, French, German, and Polish. Uh, so it take us a minute to sort out which one's which. So take them through the stats, Mike. Firepower six. Nice. Survivability one, which not surprising, they've never been a really good survive. Mobility is only two, and initiative five. 51 points. So it's a tank destroyer, so it gets an additional one survivability when it's in cover. Yeah. And five hit points. Really, it's it's a pretty cheap for a five power six. Yes. That's what you're paying. And it's not got shocking initiative. Initiative five isn't bad. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's just the survivability of these. They, um, in... Yeah, but the, I think survivability, you know, the kind of the player wants all of his tanks to live. Yeah. But the difference between survivability one and survivability two is often nothing, because that's just an extra dice in defense. Um, and I find in tanks, it's like either the guy's had a good roll and you need to roll five defense, you know, five de defense successes or you're going to be dead. I don't feel... It's that big a deal, the survivability. And of course, the other thing is, is it's it's a tank destroyer, but it's in a turret. Yes, so, it so it's have not a, the, the gun have that limitation. Upgrade cards. You can downgrade the gun. You can get the Mark V 17 pounder. You can up gun, uh, up gun. You can upgrade the engine for plus two initiative for a couple of points with a Ford engine, and that only goes in the Achilles. Um, you get improved aiming, which is generic, which is plus initiative. And this is an interesting card because it has different values of initiative for different vehicles. So it's plus two for, I don't know the world, the tank symbols for these. Plus two for so some. The, the, the upside down triangle is a tank destroyer. Yeah, right. The square is artillery. Right. Uh, the, the diamond is light tanks. Medium and heavy. Medium and heavy. Yeah, okay. So it's plus three initiative for self-propelled guns yes and plus two so it's a cheap plus three initiative for those yep. weapons uh you get the concealment card which is a great one on a tank destroyer which uh, is a really good card because it gives it extra armor when in cover uh, and then you get markers Although this one it's it's already a tank destroyer so it already gets concealment in cover yeah and another one and then that's another one yeah yeah um, and then you get a six point commander marcus quince who's got situational awareness and call for vengeance Situational awareness plus two initiative. Flat is decent. That would take you up to seven. Yeah. Call for vengeance is one of these, like, when I'm dead, something happens, which is everybody else gets plus one initiative until the end of the phase. I find cars like that, they may be powerful. I just will never remember it. Even if I remember it, I won't remember that the other tank has got plus one initiative. Yeah, I suppose phase. that replaces the final fire rules that we used to have. Well, I didn't mean it gets final fire. 
No, no, but that, we don't have Fire and Fire anymore. No. But when your tank dies, you get something. Yeah, it's just such a small bonus. And then there's other copies of the same card in other languages, um, which I, I, I guess you could use if you want to. Um, all right, so that was the British one. Uh, the Soviet one, I'm interested in this, because this is not described just... This is the M4A2 Sherman, which is the, the newest kit I think they've made. The M4A2, at, at point of recording. Um, and I was surprised that they did make it, because it's, it's not used in Western Europe. It was shipped to the Soviets, but it looks so similar to the A3 to me. that I, I, I don't really... I, 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 I mean, I'm, it, for completeness great that they've done it but um so when i put this in the box i don't think i'm even going to know that this is an a2 because the differences are so slight between that and the a3 quite different from the a1 with the with the cast hull but uh, anyway it's also described as uh what's it called Loza's m4 so this is like a particular soviet tank commander and this is the soviet offer in this release so I don't know whether this is from World of... Maybe this is like a premium tank in World of Tanks. So it's got a 76mm gun, so it's got 5 power 5, 1 survivability, 3 mobility, which is great, 6 initiative, 6 hit points, great all-round stats as a platform to build on. It's a medium tank. You don't have to pay for that, though. It's 55 points. And you've got 5 crew positions. Uh, what do the upgrades look like, then? Large first aid kit. That's quite a common one. Generic one, yeah. Uh, improved rotation mechanism, and again, this is a limited to tank destroyers, medium tanks, and artillery. Okay. Plus two during the movement phase, and plus one during the shooting phase. Okay. So they're getting more and more granularity between these things. Smooth ride. Uh, that's because it's it's uh, an easy eight. No, it's not. But it's not, is it? No. But it's... that's normally you get that for yeah. the easy eight. Yeah. It's not an easy eight, is it? It's not a the, little wider the, the, stand, the standard Sherman has that sort of like upside down Y formation. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's the two springs two of, of yeah. vertical volute suspension. Yeah, yeah. And the easy eight's got them in the horizon. They're, they're horizontal. Are they torsion bars? Yeah. So when shooting, treat this tank's movement token as one less when calculating its target dice. Mm. I think smooth ride is a powerful thing, especially in a tank with three mobility. Yeah. Because you. You, you're effectively improving the defender by by a lot when you move. Yeah. So and that's a generic driver. Yes, it's a driver. It's not the suspension. Yeah, it? it's doing that right. Radio operator. Start the shooting phase. Choose another tank to gain this tank space initiative. So this guy's base initiative is only six. So this yeah. is one that you stick on a light tank or something yeah. with very pumped out initiative. Yeah. Just realised that the smooth ride eight points. Yes. Yes, because it's good. And we have one crew member, Ivan Ravinsky, gunner. When shooting, the defending tank does not gain the cover rule if it was already shot in the previous phase. And Dead Eye, draw two critical hit cards for the first critical hit scored by this tank. The shooting player chooses one of them and applies and discards the other. So the first crit you cause, you get to draw two and pick which one. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, so I still don't know why this is called Loza's M4A2 Sherman. Anyone that knows, let us know down in the comments that uh, we can make some sense of that. All right, that was Sovietsky one. So uh, next you've got um, the Jumbo. The M4A3E2 Sherman. Jumbo. Jumbo. So the Jumbo is, an, is, a very, is an up armored Sherman, very up armored. But not especially up gun. You can take it with a 76mm, which I think is what it's modelled with. No, that looks like the 75. Is that the 75? It's got a massive mantler and a lot of extra armour on the front. Um, and somehow the suspension could hold it all together. Yeah. What does that sort of... Can I have the upgrade cards? Well, I'll find the English ones while you're reading the stats. So, Jumbo Sherman, Firepower 4, Survivability 2, Mobility 2... Initiative 5 for 44 points. And usual medium tank rules. So it's only got survivability 2. And how many hit points? 5. 5? So it's not, it's not as tough as we expected. And is it still coming out as a medium tank as well? Yes. That surprises me. I thought it would be tougher. All right. Um, so in terms of the upgrades, we get the option to give it the 76 uh, for 6 points. We get the option to give it 105, the howitzer. 
um, and that gives it the HE rule. We get a Ford engine, which upgrades its initiative and movement phase. We get a turbo charger, which is another one of these. Affects some tanks differently to others. So plus three initiative for medium tanks, plus two for everybody else at four points. And then we get Tony Meacham as our commander. Um, tanks, so he gets the snapshot rule, which is plus two initiative in the shooting phase, as long as you don't have the assault gun rule. And the concealment rule, which is plus defense while in cover. Now, it's interesting, those two rules don't go very well together. It, it plus initiative in the shooting phase, but only if you're not an assault gun. So that, you want to pair with a turreted tank destroyer. Because tank destroyers are the ones that really want this bonus in cover thing, because they can really stack it, because they start with it, and you want that high defense for not moving. Um, so that's a really good card. I would use this commander for sure on a, if I was using an American tank destroyer. And the final one is the Yag Panther. So I think we've, we've had the Yag Tiger, haven't we? Have we used that in tanks? Is that out in tanks? It's definitely out in... We, yeah, we, we, uh, Flames of War. If you don't know by now, by the way, and you're watching this, all of these models are just pre-assembled versions of Flames of War tanks. They've got their factory out in Malaysia and they have a team of people that build and spray these industrially. So the Yag Panther, it's a beautiful vehicle, isn't it? it, it it's uh, And it's something a lot of war gamers love it because it's... It's a killer, and these these weren't built in impossibly low numbers. They weren't built in vast numbers, but they did exist, and they do seem to have fought in Normandy. There's maybe some with Panzer Lair in Normandy, I think, something like that. So, Yang Panther has got five power of six, boom. Um, that's, that's the number you're looking for, right? Yeah. That is always what you're looking for. Three mobility, which seems very generous to me. Uh, two survivability, four initiative, and six hit points. 68 points though, as a tank destroyer, it ain't cheap. Nearly 70 points. What are our upgrades? 10.5 centimeter pack for the Ag Panther gives you plus two initiative. Uh, that's the L52. It's got, I think it's got a 10.5 centimeter. Yeah. I think that's, so that's a uh, slightly, yeah. slightly longer gun. Um, so you can upgun it for a couple of points of initiative for seven points. Enhanced gun laying. While stationary or while you have a movement one token, this gains plus two initiative in the shooting phase. Nice. For two points. That base four initiative is likely to be a problem for this vehicle. Yeah. Heavy APCR shells. Right. Tanks with base five or, or greater, discard to use. Add one when attacking to tanks at close range. So there's a heavy and a light shell, and it's about how big the gun is. Yeah. So if you've got five power five or over... Uh, Need the heavy one. Uh, a commander card for six points. At the start of the shooting phase, roll a dice. On a hit or a critical, this tank may make a single move. This move does not increase its movement tokens. Yeah, so you've got a, what, 50% chance every movement phase of having a free move that didn't count for anything. Another great ability for a tank, for a platform that doesn't want to count as having moved. Or you can get into cover and out of cover and like, like it's not like a scoot and shoot, isn't it? No, because it's at the beginning of the movement phase, isn't it? A shooting phase. It's at the start of the shooting phase. You can reposition. Very nice. And you're not counting as moving means all those concealment modifiers that you've got are yeah. going to stack up. And Marcus Fison, safe stowage, uh, plus one during the shooting phase, and discard to cancel an ammo damage. And intuition, at the beginning of the shooting phase, discard an ammo upgrade to gain plus six initiative for the shooting phase. Discard an ammo to get plus six shooting. Yeah. So that's like a final fire thing, isn't yeah. it? So I'm going down, um, so I want to use that. I actually think this car, this loader is much more useful on uh, artillery piece where you're going to have multiple pieces of ammunition yeah. th that might get hit. Generally wouldn't have... Things like the ammunition, like the heavy APCR, my tank destroyer has no intention of being at close range ever. You know, and, and the other ammunition types don't really don't really have any use for it either. As artillery will often fire ammunition every turn. All right, guys. Hope that was useful to you. Interesting. I'm definitely going to try the, these. I think we're going to have a game on. We're going to get some jumbos and we're going to get some Yag Panthers uh, out. And, and my, I think a super, super, super Persian. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. 
If you enjoy World of Tanks and Miniatures game, maybe you want to give it a try. You can buy the starter set from our online store, modelingforadvantage.co.uk. Thank you for watching.